consider 7 is equal exponential x. Our aim here is to make x the subject, but x is held here by exponential. In mathematics, the natural log of x is the same thing as log x of base e. Exponential neutralizes natural log. Whenever you want to release x from natural log, you are going to introduce exponential. Also, whenever you want to release x from exponential, like in this case, you are going to introduce natural log. Natural log and exponential opposes each other in mathematics. Hence, because of this law, we are going to take the natural log of both sides. That is, I'm going to take the natural log of 7 and I'm going to take the natural log of exponential x. And because natural log and exponential neutralizes each other whenever they are close together, natural log will cancel out this exponential. Now, you can see that the natural log of 7 is x. x is now isolated. You can also write this as x is the natural log of 7. Both are the same. Let's consider that the natural log of x is equal 8. This ln is written as ln x, which simply means the natural log of x. This is not i. This is l. Next, our aim here is to make x the subject. x is held here by natural log. We are going to introduce exponential because exponential will neutralize natural log. Hence, we are going to take the exponential of both sides. That is, exponential, the natural log of x is exponential 8. We can also write this as exponential, the natural log of s is exponential of 8. This and this are the same. Next, natural log very close to exponential or exponential very close to natural log we neutralize each other x is now released here x is now free and our answer is exponential 8 or we can rewrite this as exponential 8 if you leave your answer like this or like this both are the same and we have made x the subject this is our answer